Welcome to the Monday Monologue. Well, today we're going to do something a little different, and this is really focused on the longtime supporters of the channel. I know I've gotten kind of sidetracked on my new business venture, which, yeah, some of y'all called that out, and I was thinking, well, it's not going to really have any impact, and obviously it did. I've been so focused on trying to get orders out and building you know, stuff that people want that I haven't had time to do some cool stuff on the channel for you guys. And so today we're going to have a survey. I'm going to put it in the channel. I'll put a link to it and two choices. In the past, I've done some kind of wide ranging surveys where I said, you know, do you want a 100 watt push pull amp or a headphone amp or a this or that? You know, and it was, I got answers all over the place and they were pretty evenly spread out. And so it was kind of hard for me to gauge what people wanted to see. So this time we are focused on a couple of high power single in amps using some really goofy tubes or definitely not standard type tubes and I just think that'd be fun to do it's something I've been wanting to do I've been collecting the parts to build both of these but I want you to decide which one of these I'm gonna build so the first one is using one of these 4E27 transmitter tubes and normally these things run or people build amps running these things at like a thousand volts. And I've told y'all before, I just don't feel comfortable as a hobbyist working around a thousand volts. And I don't want to put things on the channel, you know, projects that are using a thousand volts because, you know, 500 volts is deadly enough, you know, and it, and it, good possibility it could kill you. A thousand volts will absolutely kill you. No question about it. And a thousand volts are the kind of thing that can jump across gaps and you think you're not close enough to get shocked and you do. And so, anyway, I found a interesting schematic for using one of these. And I actually have the iron that they used in that project, which is one of these ISO Tango FC 3.5 transformers. And I ended up with another pair of these from a viewer that bought some to put in his R300 and then realized that it was kind of a waste of time. It didn't really change much because the circuit design and blah, like I've been talking about. And so he made me a good deal on buying these from him. And so now I've got a pair of these, which are what is spec to use in this build. I've actually got the weird little compactron tubes that are in this circuit too. And this is what the circuit looks like. It's a two-stage, it uses a dual triode that then feeds a, looks like a triode strap pentode that then feeds the tubes themselves. And so, like I said, I've got most of the parts here. I'm going to have to get some transformers. I actually found these cool little, these are like the caps that go on the plate too, because this is the plate lead. that are heat sinks that go on the plate pins. And so this thing's going to look crazy. And this probably isn't something I'd feel comfortable selling to somebody because it's going to have 500 volts on this little flying saucer thing on the top of it. And I may have to come up with some kind of cage to put around it to even feel safe using it in my own house, even though I'm the only one here. I mean, I hate to brush up against this thing and get electrocuted, but anyway, that's, you know, that's where we're going with this project. So this is the 4E27 build, okay? The second one is this 6C33C, these giant, Russian tubes that were used in MiG fighter jets and these are some really weird tubes They run super high current, but they have a really low output impedance And so you use like 600 ohm output transformers. So I got a pair of these big huge Edcore 
output transformers that obviously were made to use with these tubes. And they got a 600 ohm primary winding. And I'm trying to think of what the outputs are. I think it may just have an 8 ohm. Yeah, it's just got a single 8 ohm tap on the output. And so, got a pair of these. The circuit design looks like this. It's a really simple circuit. And it does something I've never messed with before. It's using a choke-loaded pentode strapped as a triode for the driver tube. Now the circuit's showing a D3A, which is a tube that's just gotten stupid expensive. I mean, used ones are just out of sight. And a 6EJ7, it's very similar tube. There's some other tubes in that same family, these frame grid tubes, that I think would work in the place of that D3A. And then I've got this 200 Henry 30 milliamp choke from Hammond that we can use as the plate choke for the driver tube. And so, going to be a simple single stage driver, which I think will you know be really cool. And then, you know... There's global negative feedback on this one. Me may experiment with doing my little shade feedback thing on it to get it more tube sounding. I don't know. You know, we, we can play both ways. But this is going to be a cool build too. And yeah, they, both of these amps are going to just put off a ton of heat. I forgot what, you know, I can't remember what the amps are on these heaters. I'll put it up here. But it's really high. So these things, it's kind of dumb to be building these things right before the summer. But hey, you know, I've done dumb things before and this may be another one. But anyway, planning on building these as monoblocks because they draw so much current that getting transformers to this voltage level, especially if I'm going to go with tube rectification, which I really like doing, it's going to be difficult to get there without overwhelming the power supply. Plus, mono amps just look really cool. And now that I've got a really nice preamp, that color preamp that I love, I've got one of those. It's got adjustable THD, so I can dial it in to, to suit either one of these builds. I'm going to build them like as power amps, no volume controls, and just an RCA jack and a pair of speaker jacks and a power jack. Haven't decided whether I'm going to go with wood chassis. I may get my buddy to fabricate up some chassis for these. And we can even do like a build kind of video series on the wood chassis fabrication part of this. For you guys that are into woodworking. Which would be a little venture off over to Bob's shop. So we could consider doing that. But I want to know which one of these do you want to see me build next. And obviously I'm going to work this in while I'm working on customers' amps and stuff, but there's time to do both, and I'm kind of caught up on the, what I would call, like, months of back order stuff, and I'm getting on stuff that was just ordered a few weeks ago, so, you know, and I've told the people it's going to be four to six weeks, so, yeah, we got some time here now, I can catch my breath, and build something really cool. I mean, there's a part of me that's leaning towards this one, but... You know, if you guys really want to see this one done, we can do that. And I'm probably going to end up doing both of them at some point. But, yeah, we want to do this one. Hey, Dolly. Give you a little love in here. She comes down here and wants to be patted sometimes. So hopefully a bunch of y'all will go vote or leave in the comments below which one of these I should do first. The 4E27 or the 6E... 33c and i think at the end of the day they're both going to have about the same power which i think they're going to put out about 20 watts per channel which is pretty stout for a single in and amp might be able to push them to 25 watts we'll see when we build them but hey don't know until we do it i actually think this one's going to be cooler but if people really want to see this one with the plate choke and you know see how this thing works out we can do that too. So I do have another cool project that people have been bugging me about for a long time is a headphone amp. And I think it uses a 12H something. I'll put this up here too. I can't remember the number. 
but it uses one of those per channel. I've got the transformers here. Hammond's got some little small high ohm secondary output transformers that'll work great with these tubes. And this was actually a project that somebody posted on DIY Audio. They went through several iterations of it. And this is kind of finally what they ended up with. And they were complaining a little bit about the tubes were only lasting like a year. But come on, guys. When you're talking about a tube that costs $12 on the used market, I'm fine with burning them up like that. I mean, that's what, that's what they're there for, for us to enjoy. So that's going to be coming in the near future too. Probably going to be after I jump into this project. And then also let me know in the comments if you want to see like some videos about doing the woodworking or the wood fab stuff so you can do that part yourself if you have woodworking tools. Like I don't have a table saw or you know all this stuff that he ends up using to build these things. I do have a router but I don't have a table saw so I'm trying to cut all these you know really good angles and stuff is just impossible. And so if you're interested in that kind of thing let me know in the comments and we'll make some of those videos too. I want to try to get the channel back on track to be producing content that's interesting to you guys. And I know some of you guys are building this stuff, and but a lot of you aren't. And you just enjoy watching this stuff getting built. And again, I apologize that the channel's kind of gotten sidetracked or kind of put on hold. Kind of all I've been doing is weekly monologues. For a little while and I mean, I've thrown in a couple of videos here and there hadn't been a lot of really cool build stuff and I want to get back to doing that plus this stuff's just fun to me so anyway that's really about it for the Monday monologue I was gonna do a video about tubes versus solid state and I think I'm gonna do that separate from the Monday monologue I think that deserves its own video so anyway, I want to thank you guys that have been loyal viewers. We've hit 13,000 subs, which is awesome. I want to keep the channel growing. Appreciate all you Patreon supporters. You guys' donations to my website and the Patreon or how I can afford to go out and just buy all this iron and all these random weird tubes in preparation of building some of these really cool projects that I know y'all like watching. Because again... Some of these amps are so bizarro that I know they're not something that I would ever sell, but I'm interested in what these sound like. I mean, I just, I don't know. I got a feeling that these are going to sound really good, especially using super good iron. So anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this week, and we will see you next week for the Monday Monologue.